Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, January the 11th, 2018, and this is episode 2683. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome. Glad to have you with us for today's episode of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, No Room. Stay tuned, won't you? Oftentimes, and especially since we've just come through the Christmas season, you hear those two words, no room, and you, your mind immediately goes to Joseph and Mary traveling to Bethlehem and not finding any place to stay and how that Jesus was born in a manger stall. But that's not what today's episode is about. Let me share with you a little bit from the verse of the day in the Version Bible app. And again, let me just encourage you, the Version Bible app is just an amazing tool, an opportunity for you to interact with God's word. It's the first thing that I, I do when I get up in the morning. Before I do anything else, I look at the verse of the day. Here's what it says today. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26 and 27. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Again, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. So what I want to challenge you with this morning, I want you to think about where perhaps you have given an opportunity, a place, room to operate for Satan in your life. Now, one of the obvious things within the context of this passage today is anger. Now, anger, now being angry is not a sin in and of itself, but it can open us to sin if we don't handle it in a spiritual way. So Paul's warning here flows from anger specifically to the idea of not giving Satan any opening or entrance into our life. And anger is one of those ways that we do that. When you get angry, your thinking changes. You become vulnerable for Satan to come in and have some operational space in which to work in your life. Now, it's interesting that the one other mention of the devil in the book of Ephesians is found in chapter 6, verse 11 where we read, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. So the devil schemes, the devil seeks to deceive. He looks for a crack in your armor. He looks for space. He looks for room. He looks for opportunity or advantage. So are you thinking with me, where might Satan have room in your life that you need to shut him out. Now, the Greek word for room is the word topon, and it's translated opportunity. Uh, it's also translated place or room. And as believers, we should be diligent to keep Satan out of every aspect of our lives. Any open space for the devil is too much open space. You see, as believers, we're susceptible to the lie that we can grow in one spiritual area at a time while letting others lie unattended. But be careful, be cautious. However, we've got to guard against any area of life that could be used to compromise our integrity and our witness for Christ. Indeed, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. So whether it's something like anger Perhaps it would be jealousy or lust or maybe covetousness. Be very careful that you not give Satan room to operate in your life today. So think about that. Father, as we pray, I'm asking you to show me where are the cracks in my armor? Where are 
the opportunities that Satan might have to work and move in my life. Open our eyes. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear, that we might walk in victory today. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. That'll take you to our Facebook group page. For those of you that don't use Facebook, you can subscribe to Morning Mana via any one of a number of podcast apps. My favorite is Spreaker. Uh, Stitcher Radio is another one. Uh, I, uh, my um, Morning Mana is available on iHeartRadio. Uh, Apple Podcast. it's also available on Alexa. If you install the Spreaker skill on your Alexa, you can say, Alexa, play Morning Mana, and it'll play right there. So thanks for being a part of my day and letting me be a part of your day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.